Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as we can see I've got a nice glowy dewy base prepped and primed ready to go. So we're just going to go straight in with the eyes. If you guys do want a base routine let me know in the comments below. Otherwise first things first we're going to prime our eyelids. I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot um, just to prime them like I said. It's going to create a nice tacky base for the eyeshadows to stick to as well as neutralizing them so there's no veins or redness popping through disrupting that eyeshadow. Okay for the first eyeshadow we're going to use today I'm taking this beautiful peachy pink shade on a fluffy 227 crease brush from Zoeva and I'm just basically buffing that through the outer corner and through the crease also popping it on that outer V lid area as well. Next I'm going in with this absolutely beautiful matte turquoise shade from the same palette and on that same fluffy crease brush I'm just popping that on the lid area. It is more of like a haphazard kind of eyeshadow look if that makes sense so it doesn't really matter about perfection with blending or like the opaqueness of the shade. I kind of want it to look more of like a wash effect if that makes sense. Next I'm going to take the same peachy pink shade but mixing it in with a bit of Wisteria from Makeup Peak which is this beautiful kind of light purple shade. I'm buffing that on my lower lash line and also through that outer corner and crease area to deepen it up a little bit and have a little bit of depth there. Next taking that turquoise shade on the bottom lash line in a corner area I'm just popping that on with a pencil brush. Like I said I want it to be more of a wash rather than like a stark opaque kind of colour there. For my inner corners, I'm taking this beautiful foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Pegasus and applying that to the inner corners for a bit of pizzazz, a bit of pop, you know. And for the brow bone highlight, I'm taking Puffs from my Juvia's Place Deuce palette on a pencil brush. As you can see, I'm not actually applying it to the whole brow bone, I'm applying it to the very high point. I want it to have like a bit of a reflect. As you can see, the inner corner, cheekbone and brow bone has that very intense reflect and that's what I was going for with this look. Just those high points of the face. For the liner, I didn't want to go smack bam, turkey and ham kind of thing with like the stark like liquid liner. I wanted to have a bit of an idea of where you know, the shape of the look and everything like that. So I first went in with this cream eye base from NYX. This is the Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I use a eye concealer brush to kind of map out like I said the shape of the butterfly wing um, just so I had a guide. It helps you make less mistakes and I love this white eye base because it's so easy to just like rub out and just go over again. Like if you feel like the shape isn't quite what you want you can just rub out that area and just redo it. So it's good um, as like a little kind of idea of what you want, I guess. For the liquid liner today, I'm taking my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner. And as you can see, I'm just drawing your typical wing first of all. So this part is pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted something thin and little, nothing too crazy. Then what we're going to do is connect that wing up into the butterfly uh, wings. <laughs> So I'm going up and with that guide that we've created, I'm just going to draw over the top of it. Definitely, definitely take your time with this step. <laughs> Patience is a virtue with this. I literally just had to just do little strokes at a time just to kind of get my bearings a little bit. And also go over the top as you can see like because that white eye base is there, you did have to go over the liquid liner a little bit to make sure it was nice and opaque um, so there wasn't any white peeking through. So as you can see, I've kind of drawn two little triangles off that wing um, connecting onto the lines that go across the crease area. I used a few little images um, from the internet to kind of get an idea of the butterfly wing. And as you can see, I did make a little bit of a mistake. So I went back over with that paint pot and then I used this beautiful kind of greeny shimmery shade to cover it up. And girl, I was like, oh, I actually love this shade. So I went on both eyes with it. It was such a beautiful colour and it shows up a little bit more than just that turquoisey colour. Yet it still has that kind of washed, watery, watercolour kind of eyeshadow look is what I was going for. Nothing too perfect basically. Then I go back over with that liquid liner and just go back and create that uh, butterfly look. I did use, like I said, guides from the internet um, to get an idea of what a butterfly wing looks like. So if you guys aren't sure, definitely use that. And I just repeat the same step on the other eye. I found the hardest part with this look was going across the brow bone area to get the right shape and everything. But once you've done that, 
the other bits are pretty easy to do just take your time if you do make a mistake use your paint pop clean it up and go over it again it's very easy nothing to fear <laughs> okay so next bit I'm doing is actually that bottom part of the wing so I'm just repeating my step I was a little bit nervous with this one but it actually was a lot easier to do than the top part of the eye because having like a more stable base I guess like the cheekbones a lot easier to draw on than the eyelid so this part was actually easier just a little FYI for you guys so once you've mapped out the shape I've just done two little kind of bump shapes and then it's come out to a point I'm just going to go and trace over those again take your time with a step but it is a lot easier than the top so that's a win <laughs> I did a little kind of like star on the bottom of the the wing because I put a little diamante there a little bit later as you'll see First of all though, I'm going to take some body paint. This is an eye save, so just a little FYI, but I mean, it's not that close to your eye. And I'm just drawing little white dots along the wing. You can use a liquid liner if you don't have like paint, um, but I just used white paint. And I just did it along the kind of outer point of that wing and also along the bottom wing as well. I just did three little dots there. Of course, it's up to you. Like you can put as many dots as little dots as you would like. I just thought it added a nice little touch to the wing and it made it a little bit more realistic, I guess. I also did them in like big dots, little dots. Like I wanted them to be kind of imperfect, very random. And then, like I said, I'm going in with a diamante on the very kind of point of those wings. I just thought it was so pretty and it was fun. A little bit of something fun to do. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with lashes today. Oh, I'm obsessed with these lashes lately. I've used them in my last few looks. These are the fairy lashes from Attitude. They're just so full and voluptuous. Mm, I just love them so much. And they really complement this look. They don't cover up the liquid liner too much or anything like that. Then I'm going in and putting a nude eye coal in my waterline to really open up the eyes. I did toy with the idea of using a coloured coal in my waterline, but I was like, nah, I like the nude better. And then I'm just finishing off putting on some bottom lash mascara. And that, guys, concludes today's butterfly-inspired eye makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. It is a little different to my previous butterfly look. Um, I feel like this one actually was a little bit easier. Even though it looks more intricate, it was a little bit easier than my last look. And I use different colours this time. But of course you can use whatever colour combo you would like. I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's look. Please leave a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe down below to my channel. So you guys can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. If you have any requests, please also leave those down below. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video. I love you all so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.